Alright guys, this week we're going to discuss equations. Um, we're going to get to solving equations and balancing, balancing equations. But before we can get to working with them, we need there's some vocabulary that we need to really understand, okay? Because um, you're going to hear me say it a lot. So we're going to go through the vocabulary. We're going to write it down right now. And as we go through the lesson, I want you to kind of come up with your own definitions of what these terms or what these words might mean to you. So I'm going to give you my own definition, but feel free to modify it, modify uh, or change the definition later on if you if there's something else that you might feel more comfortable with. All right. So go ahead and pull out your composition book right now, and I'll show you what you need to write in there. All right. So in your table of contents, you're going to write down the date. So whichever date you happen to be watching this video on, write down the date. The date that I'm making this video is January 24th, um, 2013. Uh, the lesson or activity is going to be called Equation Vocabulary. So equation, E-Q-U-A-T-I-O-N vocabulary. Okay. And on my uh, composition book, it's going to be page one, okay? You should only really need pay one page for this uh, vocabulary, so go ahead and only allot or only save one page in your composition notebook. So I turned to page one, and I titled it uh, Equation Vocabulary, uh, just like I did in the table of contents. And um, I'm going to write down the words, and I'm going to discuss the words that you're going to need to know or the words that you're going to hear throughout the lesson. The first word is obviously equation. Okay? Equation. The second word that I want to discuss is expression. Okay? Expression. Now, there is a difference between equation and expression, so let's go over the difference between uh, those two words. Okay, so on this dry erase board, I've written down an example of an expression and an example of an equation. So look at the expression. The expression is in orange, okay? The expression says 7 plus m. 7 plus m. The equation in green says 5 plus p equals 10. So 5 plus p equals 10. So let's look at them. Study them for a moment and try to see um, what they have in common and what they, uh, what they're, what the, the difference between the two. So what they have in common. Well, they both have a variable. The variable uh, in the expression is m and the variable in the equation is p. Okay? They both have a variable. They both are addition. Okay? Uh, but the real big difference, if you haven't noticed it yet, is that the equation has this equal sign, whereas the expression doesn't. So that's the real difference. Expression doesn't have an equal sign. Equation does. Okay? So the expression really just expresses something. It gives a statement, 7 plus m. Okay? Whereas the equation tells you that 5 plus p is going to equal 10. Okay, so in the expression, in this case, the m can really uh, be equal to anything. Okay, the, the m can be really equal to any integer. Whereas in the equation, this variable, the variable of p, has to be equal to 5 in order to satisfy or in order to make this equation true. Okay, remember, we always want the equations to be true. So in order for this equation to be true, P would have to be equal to 5, okay? Whereas in the expression, M could be really equal to any number or, or any integer, all right? I went back to my composition notebook, and I updated and wrote down my uh, definitions that I came up with on my own. Like I said, if you want to come up with your own definition, you can, but this is the definition I came up uh, with for an equation. So, equation. An equation has a variable, an integer, an operation, and you'll see in parentheses I put addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and an equal sign. 
After I wrote down the definition, I uh, wrote down the example that I used, 5 plus P equals 10. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and write down the definition of equation. I also wrote down the definition of expression. So expression. To me, it has a variable, an integer, and an operation. And again, in parentheses, I wrote addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So you can see in my example, the expression has the variable of m, an integer of positive 7, and an operation of addition. Okay, so again, you can go ahead and pause the video if you need to and write down the definitions of these two words. The next vocabulary word I'm going to discuss is variable. Now, I didn't present it before in this video or earlier in this video because I'm hoping at this point in the course or in uh, my class that it is a word that you already know the definition of. So looking at this equation, I gave you another example of an equation. This equation, the way I would read it, is k minus 24 equals 65. And again, this is an equation because we have the equal sign right there. Okay? Um, looking at this equation, if I were to ask you what the variable is, what would you say? I'm hoping that you said the variable is k. And if you said k, then that is correct. Now, the reason we refer to k as a variable is because at this point, um, looking at this equation, we don't know the value just yet. We don't know how much k is worth. So we use a variable in math anytime um, we don't know the value or anytime we have an unknown number. All right. So you see variables a lot uh, for equations that we use to get the area or the perimeter perimeter of a shape. Um, but a a variable again is just an unknown number that we don't know the value of yet. And variables that we use in math uh, are any letters A through Z. Now I know I've told you in class before that I try not to use the variable of X because I don't like to confuse y'all. Um, and make y'all think that it is multiplication. Okay, so I try to stay away from using the variable x, but you can really use any variable or any letter a through z to represent an un an unknown number. If you haven't done so yet, go back to your composition book and write down the definition of variable in your own words. In my own words, I described variable as a letter that represents an unknown number or value. Just in case you don't know how to spell variable, uh, it's V as in victory, A-R-I-A-B-L-E. So that concludes today's vocabulary video. Today we added to our list equation, expression, and variable. As we begin our lesson, we are going to add more uh, vocabulary words to the list, so don't put it away at just yet, but um, keep it handy. We are going to go back to it, and I'll tell you when to go back to, uh, to it and add the other words as we go through the lesson, all right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in class.